a very short video now just to um, talk about something that all chicken keepers probably encounter at some time vermin rodents rats in particular now I'll show you where we're living in a second but we're in very very close proximity to a field so that means that rodents can come straight off the field underneath the fence and any food that's left lying in the garden they will go for so it's a very good idea if you're keeping chickens to make sure that all food is tidied up in the evening nothing's left lying on the ground overnight rats will eat during the day but they're far more active at night so this is what lies just over the garden fence a massive big field and other fields all around it hardly surprising then that any little furry creatures over winter come into your garden seeking food there's nothing left in the field underneath the garden fence here we've got a second bait station again it's full of pest expert formula B and what we've established is there's a tiny gap under the fence here what we think's happening is any rats or mice from the field are coming underneath that tiny gap they go to the bait station they fill their bellies full of the bait and then because their appetite's being satisfied they disappear back under the fence into the field to the relative safety of the field now this is the only bait station around the garden and we have three of them out in the garden that has shown any sign of recent rodent activity it's the only one where bait still disappears from on a very regular basis underneath the basket there's a rat trap it's a victor snap trap very very good for killing rats the reason it's under the basket is to stop any sort of uh, native wildlife things like birds stepping on it and getting hit by the trap because it would kill them sadly now rats do not like open ground so what they normally do is they normally scurry along wallways or fence lines or the side of a shed or something like that they tend to follow a predefined path so that's why the bait stations are positioned next to walls like this one and also against the fence like the one I showed you a second ago this particular bait station has not been touched for months so nothing has gone out of this bait station which indicates that the rats are not going anywhere near that wall Here's another bait station, this one is positioned fairly close to the chickens, you can probably hear the chickens in the background, right next to the garden shed. We think that when, at the start of winter, we think that rats were going underneath the garden shed to find a nice warm place. Um, we certainly found a few droppings underneath the garden shed, and for a couple of weeks after we put the bait station, there was bait disappearing from the bait station, which again indicates that there was some sort of vermin underneath the garden shed. However now, there's no sign that any bait's disappearing from this trap. There hasn't been any bait go from this trap for months actually, which suggests that there's nothing at all now living underneath the garden shed. Again, like I said earlier, rats in particular do like to follow any kind of boundary. They don't like to be out in the open, so they do like to hide underneath structures and they do like to walk along walls and that sort of thing. A few final things I should probably mention to anyone who's thinking of using a combination of poison bait and traps to control any rodents. The bait is incredibly poisonous so you must always use gloves when you're handling the bait. That's very very important. Make sure that after you've handled the bait you wash your hands thoroughly and be sure to store it in a safe and secure area where no children are going to get to it. Now should an animal succumb to the bait ideally a rat or a mouse and its body is left lying out in the, the open what may happen is another animal may come along and eat it now if it does that that second animal will ingest the poison that's in the first animal's body so it's very very important that any corpses of mice or rats that you find lying around are disposed of immediately and they're not left lying in the open for other animals to consume when you're actually putting the bait into a trap it's very important to wear gloves as well because um, vermin, things like mice and rats, can actually smell human scent from a very great distance away and if you've got human scent on the actual trap or the bait station they will not go anywhere near it so it's a good idea to have gloves on so your human scent is not put on the rat trap or the bait station I think that's probably all you need to know about using combination of traps and bait for controlling rodents thanks a lot for watching